Hey friends, Stephanie Gruber here with The Perfect Follow, and today we are talking about frame basics. So first, what is a frame? Your frame is the way that you hold your body, particularly your upper body, so that you can communicate with your partner. Your leader will also have a frame, and it's through this connection from your partner's torso and center of gravity through their arms, into the hands, through your arms, and into the rest of your body. You need a good frame in order to be led into the places that your leader wants you to go. So how do you do that? How do you have a good frame? Your frame is like this, and you need to have a clear connection, a clear line in which information can travel from your hands to the rest of your body. What this looks like is muscle activation, basically. So what you wanna do is sort of hold out your arms in front of you like ballet or a beach ball and have this circle here. Now your arms will move around a bit in a dance, but the basics of it being in this sort of position are reasonably the same. Now you need to just hold this there when you dance. You want a little bit of space here. You wanna keep your shoulders down. If you let your shoulders come up, you're gonna lose some tension here. So keep your shoulders down, keep a little bit of space in your armpits and hold your frame like this. Now you can test this and work on the muscles you use to communicate in it up against a wall. So you go like this, lean up against a wall, and you can feel the muscles in it change. If you move your hands up, move your hands down, twist a little bit, you'll feel the muscles that you're using in your frame change. Now that's gonna be necessary in your dance, but when you lean here then against the wall, don't think of it like you're pushing. What I want you to do is keep your leaning, hold your shape, trace where the muscles are going, and then reduce the tension in your arms as much as possible. Because you wanna have this line of connection and tension between you and your partner, but not too much. So do that. Then, if you find a doorknob, you can hang off it like this. You can feel the same thing when you pull backwards. And you wanna be able to hold your frame here. Now, there are three different ways that your frame can be manipulated. You can be pushed, you can be pulled, and you can be rotated. In every single case, you wanna keep your frame exactly where it is in front of you. What happens with a lot of followers when they start out is they will twist, they'll collapse their frame. They'll let it move here. If your hands are here, your body should be behind it. You need to keep this circle here at all times. So when a leader pulls on you, what happens is you activate these muscles in your arms, keep your shape here. Don't pull back really hard. Don't collapse forward, hold your frame and your body will move forward where your leader wants you to go. If pushed, you'll move backwards. If rotated, you'll turn. This way, when you get leads that turn your body and then you move forward, you'll be able to stay again where your leader wants you to go. This is hard for people at the beginning, but it is Crucial is absolutely one of the number one basic things you have to do to be a good follower. So that's it for today. Thanks. See you next time.